Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 8. I'm going to be going over the top 10 MTG related websites today. And let's just jump right in. Before I go too far though, I'd like to mention some of the websites that did not make the list. It's very difficult for me whenever I make one of these lists to actually limit it to whatever number I've chosen. So the two honorable mentions today are a Tumblr site which is magiccardswithgoogleyeyes.tumblr.com. Uh, this is really a lot of fun as a site. Basically takes little googly eyes and throws them on cards. Vexing Devil, a card that I really don't like much. I love the way that it looks with googly eyes and several of the older cards are really, really entertaining with googly eyes. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's produced by somebody locally here in Seattle. Another site that is more on the fun side, a little bit less on the magic strategy than most of the things that I talk about on this channel is alteredartmagic.blogspot.com this is one of the best collections of altered magic cards out there some of them are just incredibly pretty I've been looking into a few of them to look at adding to uh, EDH decks the, this is not a retail site it's just a blog that covers really cool altered artwork the Zendikar full art borderless here are some of the absolute prettiest that I've seen on the site. Number 10 on the list is Tapped Out. TappedOut.net is one of the best sites out on the internet for putting up a deck list. Over here on the left hand side it has a really really nice mechanic for being able to play sample hands and see how a deck actually works. When somebody puts a deck up it also gives you some really useful analytics including the converted casting cost of the deck and what your mana distribution looks like versus your lands available. I love this site just for the utility of those features. All of the major decks that I do deck work on I throw up on tapped out Please check it out, look at some of the decks that I've created, and give it a try for yourself. It will definitely improve your deck build. Number 9 is the best site for prices of Magic cards. It's TCGplayer.com. One thing that they really do is show you what the price or value of a card is over a period of time. So, for example here, we're looking at the price of land tax and as you probably know land tax was recently unbanned you can see the jump in the time price of when wizards unbanned this card it went from about a seven dollar card on up to a twenty thirty dollar card with all the hype that it was unbanned and after the first major grand prix in legacy format where it did not dominate and was proved to be not overpowering you see that the price has started to uh, slowly but surely come back down and these prices are all based on actual for sale offers from different vendors so the data itself is extremely accurate I love using this site for trades to get a general idea of prices next site that I'm focusing on here is cardkingdom.com this is the site that I use myself for a pretty good amount of the singles that I pick up in full disclosure uh, my girlfriend happens to work for the company what I really like about the site is the advanced search options I often use this for deck building because the search is extremely good you can search for a particular types of cards by color, by multicolor, by individual set, by converted mana cost, and for different rarities. Um, I've used this for Ander decks several times, and I love the actions that it gives you and the variety and the ability to just pinpoint down to specific types of cards. So if you want to go through and look at all of the three casting cost uh, enchantments from a particular set in a particular color it's very easy to do you get a full display you're also able to exclude foils or put in particular price range parameters great for deck building next site that I really recommend and I'm going to do a complete video on this site later so I'm going to jump over it a little bit quickly today is the Judges Center this is the DCI judging site this, this site is not just for judges though do not be scared away from it because it's called Judging Center every single player should definitely give this a try because it has a series of free rules quizzes that you can take these are timed quizzes you can 
cruise through the quiz, see if you understand what's going on with the magic rules. But the best part is, is after you have done a quiz, whether you get it right or wrong, it lists out exactly each rule that is being used for the question and the reasoning behind the answer to the question. I strongly recommend this site for anybody who wants to get better at playing magic. Next one on here is actually a recommendation from a friend. It's a little more on the casual side. This is MTG Color Pie and it's a casual blog that goes over pretty much everything going on in Magic. Anytime there is rumors, interesting information, upcoming releases, does a great job of covering new things coming out. It's, if you're looking for a good Magic blog to add, read a few times a week, I definitely recommend MTG Color Pie. Next one on here is Daily MTG, which this is basically the official Wizards website. They've got a really good blog with several different authors and several different focuses, everything from building on a budget to very competitive play. Now you might be asking, how, how does such a high production site only end up as number five? And the reason that it's only here in this midsection is that there are some sites that do a few things better. This does have a lot of mechanics that make it look like more of an older static site, even though it has a lot of dynamic content. You can dive into the event coverage, look at deck lists. There's a lot of great content being produced on this site. It's definitely one of the stronger sites online by a ways. Number four here has to be the best community-based site focused on a single format. This is the source. It focuses uh, exclusively on legacy decks. It covers all of the top decks in legacy and the established decks, also new upcoming decks and rumors related to different topics. The community overall does tend to be a little bit on the elitist side, but it has the best information out there if you're really interested in getting into the legacy format. The decks to beat section is based off of actual tournament results, so it's not on the overly subjective side. Your established deck section is also based on tournament results, so you get to see practical threads discussed by uh, sometimes hundreds of players on the best decks that are out there. And the new developmental section is actually very good for individuals interested in brewing their own in their own decks in such a vast format with thousands of cards available. Number three on this list is MTG Salvation. Dot com. This is the largest group of really active community based individuals on Magic that I have found. The forums for the site are incredibly active. They cover everything from rules questions, where several judges are available, to answer questions, to up-to-date, up-to-the-minute spoilers of what's going on with the recent sets, to articles and additional wiki pages for kind of keeping a uh, Wikipedia-style encyclopedia of different topics related to magic. Often when I have rules questions, this is one of the first places that I go. It also shows up very high in the Google page rankings, and I've been very impressed with the information that I've got out of this. The reason that this is higher than a, a higher production site like Wizards official site here in the rankings is the community really comes first here. This is all about the community and it's community driven. The forums really drive this site. The number two site has to be one of the most prolific sites of actual high quality content from competitive players. This is StarCityGames.com site. Star City Games runs a significant number of tournaments. Um, almost as many tournaments as Wizards runs, and they have a collection of incredible authors on this site. The reason that this is only number two, though, is that half of the content is subscription only, which really annoys me as an individual. And they have a retail site, they have a significant amount of tournaments to show up to, and putting some of that content behind that premium really turns a lot of new or casual players off from the site. And even as a competitive player myself, I don't like seeing that select content hidden away for 30 days. I, I think it's really a design choice that they've made that is very, very um, negative towards 
gathering new players. But even with that one criticism, the content on this site is incredible. This has an amazing database of deck lists that you can search through looking at very high quality competitive decks. The deck list database rivals Wizards own uh, database of decks to beat and is up there in quality with everything that you'll find on the source or other websites. So I I definitely enjoy reading the articles here. They've also got a limited amount of video content, and video I think is really where the future is, although I'm biased here as a YouTube channel producer. The last site that I'm covering is by far my favorite. It's Channel Fireball. It has the best YouTube channel hands down on the internet related to magic. It does focus a little bit on the competitive side. It has many, many competitive writers, although even recently they've added a few individual pieces over the EDH format, the format that got me back into the game. All of their content is open, available for free, and this real focus on video content is what has put them over the top compared to Star City Games. I wish there was a little more interaction with the community. The community has kind of moved off to comments at the end of articles, although several of the writers are actually really good at engaging with individuals in the comments, and I really appreciate that. Uh, this is the gold standard though of magic content especially when it comes to videos channel fireball has definitely entertained me for hours and done a lot to explain different strategies especially in their draft videos and their top eight picks recommend checking them out this has been brian rowe with the top 10 magic sites Please feel free to contact me with any suggestions or in the comments if I missed a high quality site. I'm definitely looking for other amazing magic sites out there to talk about and promote. Also, if you disagree with any of the ratings here or comments, I would love to hear it. Thanks.